a modern epidemic, the rise of gluten intolerance. The world seems to be in the throes of a silent epidemic. More and more people are experiencing an array of symptoms, from digestive distress to fatigue and brain fog. The culprit? Often it's gluten, a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye. Once a rare diagnosis, gluten intolerance has skyrocketed in recent years. The answer, as with many health issues, is complex and multifaceted. It's a confluence of changes in our environment, diet, and lifestyle. We will explore gluten's nature, transformation, and impact on our health. Gluten unveiled, what it is and where it hides. Gluten often evokes mixed reactions. For some, it's a dietary component. For others, a source of discomfort. Gluten is a protein composite found in wheat, barley, and rye. It consists of gliadin and glutenin. Gliadin is problematic for those with sensitivities. Gluten provides elasticity to dough, giving bread its chewy texture. But it can wreak havoc on those with gluten intolerance. Gluten hides in countless processed foods, making avoidance challenging. The transformation of a staple grain. Wheat, a fundamental part of many cultures, has seen a significant transformation over the last century. The wheat we eat today is vastly different from the ancient grain our ancestors cultivated. This change, driven by agricultural advancements and economic factors, has led to a wheat variety that may be less compatible with human health. Modern wheat has undergone extensive hybridization and genetic modification. These modifications intended to boost yield and disease resistance have inadvertently changed the grain's protein composition, potentially making it harder to digest. One major alteration is the increase in gluten content in modern wheat. The gluten in today's wheat is more potent and abundant than in older varieties, which may explain the rise in gluten sensitivities. Additionally, the dwarfing of wheat stalks, a result of modern breeding techniques, has led to a higher concentration of gluten in a smaller plant. This concentrated gluten load could be overwhelming our digestive systems, contributing to the increasing prevalence of gluten intolerance. The modern diet's role. The modern diet filled with processed foods, refined grains, and added sugars significantly contributes to the rise of gluten intolerance. We are consuming more gluten than ever before, and our bodies are struggling to keep up. Wheat, in its various forms, has become ubiquitous in our food supply. From breakfast cereals to lunchtime sandwiches and evening pasta dishes, gluten is a constant presence. This overconsumption overwhelms our digestive systems, potentially leading to sensitivities. Furthermore, the way we consume wheat has changed. Gone are the days of slow fermented sourdough breads. Today, we rely on quick rise breads made with highly processed wheat flour, which may be more difficult to digest. The combination of increased gluten consumption and changes in food processing methods has created a perfect storm for gluten intolerance. Our bodies are simply not equipped to handle the onslaught of this modified protein, leading to a surge in sensitivities. Exploring other culprits. While gluten often takes center stage in digestive health, it's not always the sole culprit. Other factors can contribute to symptoms commonly attributed to gluten intolerance. FODMAPs, found in certain foods, can cause bloating, gas, and abdominal pain. Fructans in wheat, onions, and garlic can trigger similar symptoms. Other digestive disorders can mimic gluten intolerance. Consult a healthcare professional for accurate diagnosis and treatment. Living gluten-free in a world dominated by wheat can feel like navigating a minefield. Gluten lurks in unexpected places, making careful label reading and dietary vigilance essential for those with gluten sensitivities. The first step in embracing a gluten-free lifestyle is understanding which foods are off-limits. Wheat, barley, and rye, along with their derivatives, must be strictly avoided. This includes bread, pasta, pastries, cereals, and many processed foods. Fortunately, the rise of gluten intolerance has spurred a boom in gluten-free alternatives. Supermarkets now offer a wide array of gluten-free bread, pasta, baking mixes, and other products. While these alternatives can be lifesavers, it's important to note that they are not always healthier than their gluten-containing counterparts. Many are highly processed and may contain added sugars, unhealthy fats, and sodium. Cooking at home becomes crucial for those following a gluten-free diet. 
This allows for greater control over ingredients and ensures that meals are free from hidden sources of gluten. Starting a gluten-free journey should always begin with a visit to a healthcare professional. Self-diagnosing and eliminating gluten without proper medical guidance can be harmful to one's health. A qualified healthcare provider can help determine if gluten is truly the cause of symptoms. This may involve blood tests to check for celiac disease, stool tests to rule out other conditions, and even an elimination diet followed by a supervised gluten challenge. Once a diagnosis is established, a healthcare professional can provide personalized guidance on managing the condition. This may include dietary counseling, nutritional supplements, and strategies for navigating social situations that involve food. It's also essential to remember that gluten intolerance is not a one-size-fits-all condition. Symptoms and severity can vary greatly from person to person, requiring individualized treatment plans. This is gonna blow your mind. Subscribe now to learn more about gluten intolerance and how to manage it effectively.